Hey guys, this is Breaking Boredom bringing you some uh, power questing, uh, doing the power quests heal in the cradle. Just thought I'd uh, do a little walkthrough on how you do these. Um, they're not too bad. Uh, the first time I went through them here, it took a while to figure out how you actually got to do them. Uh, you actually have to do the quest uh, three times. So I'll do, I'm going to break this video uh, into parts, um, mainly because the time it takes me to render um, anything over 15 minutes and then upload it is just beyond ridiculous it takes a couple hours to render and upload a 15 minute video as it is so uh, you know, like I've said before you're probably not going to see too many videos of mine over 15 so uh, the first one here uh, you just DPS him down he's not too hard there's nothing special to it or anything like that now a couple times in this fight here you're gonna see me turn on and turn off my aura potent potency here um, pretty much it gives me a damage boost while it's active but cuts my healing in half and sometimes I need it so it, it just switch it on and off but as you'll see here he goes down pretty quick pretty easy you kill him and you just move on to the next one so just a little bit of travel now here move on to the next one but yeah, um, I've actually just gotten uh, all of my rep gear now, so <laughs> my stats are actually balanced again, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, should be able to do start doing some uh, regular A4 runs. I have to do this quest one more time, and then I still have to do uh, Death to Our Foes in Wandering Isle. Um, I'll see if I can get some uh, video for that for you guys. Here we go into uh, another one of these powers here. See, I turn it off because I've done this fight. Now, this boss here, uh, what you have to do is you have to lure two of them. You, have to, you pretty much you have to you have to damage them in the circle. Um, if you're not damaging them in the circle, what they'll do is they'll heal, and it's just in, impossible to kill them. So uh, you'll see me here, you'll, you'll see me run them back over to this other little blue circle. Uh, what that does is it actually turns all the healing that is done on one of them into damage. Um, so you'll see uh, that little hand there in red, it actually shows that any healing done to them is damage. And that's pretty much all you have to do this fight. Well, you do have to do it for each one of them. and, and to, Well, not really, you only have to do it uh, two of them, because once two of them are dead, there's no one around to heal the third. As you can see right now, I'm just trying to see if I can get him killed before I have to run to another circle, but he just keeps healing too much before I can get just the you know, right enough amount of damage, and I decide to give up because I don't want to go through all of my mana and stuff. So you just yeah, put my minion on defensive, pull him back to me. He, you can see he's in the circle again. He's taking damage. He's not healing. Then he sees again because he's out of the circle. And you pull him back again, and it's pretty much this this cycle just repeated a couple times over and over and over again. See, just right up there, you would have saw it turns all healing and damage. So one down, two to go. Uh, these f these fights aren't particularly hard. They're just they the first time you do them, it takes a minute to figure it out. After that, once you got it down, what you got to do, it's really a lot of these quests being level 51 uh, are kind of laughable um i almost wish that they didn't uh put the week-long lucky moments on that they did maybe would have provided a little bit of a challenge to level now keep in mind i'm not all the way through uh, there could be some new quests or stuff that provide challenging um hopefully like i said you know i'll start doing uh regular a4 runs and uh dead city raids i want to get some uh footage of the uh Battlegrounds up, but I haven't been doing that much. I've been kind of concentrating on questing and getting geared and all that kind of stuff. Um, being a summy, I'm pretty squishy. If I if I run out of mana and I can't keep crowd controlled and stunned, I'm pretty much toast. Uh, my hardest fight so far in, in PvP, as I have to say, is, is going to be a warrior. I always have troubles with them. But this guy, uh, yeah, warriors, like I said, this guy's down here, so... Uh, just uh, mana up, redo my health, and I think I'll head to uh, one more before we, we cut off here. Um, this video is going to be done, you know, like I said, a couple parts here, so you'll get part one, then maybe a couple a day or two later, or depending on what uh, the videos in the queue are like, uh, you might get another part either the day or, you know, in a couple days or 
however they decide to uh, do that. I think the next one here, just you walk in, you just pretty much kill him as well. Like I said, you know, these, these bosses aren't too hard. Um, first quest so far is the death to our foes. Because what it, it pretty much it, it requires you to work with the League, and we have no way of communicating with them, telling them when to go, when to stop. It's very frustrating. I'm sure it is for them as well, but... I don't. I'm not looking forward to doing that quest two more times. Finds a lot of these quests. They are they're repeatable. You have to you have to do them a couple times to get the item or to get the quest chain or, um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, you know, DPS this guy down and that's about it. So you know, um, if you like the video, please leave a comment, like it, and if you if you want to keep kept up on the feeds. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you feel like it, check out my own personal channel. I don't have I have some older content up there without too much commentary. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this is Breaking Boredom. Uh, go play some Allods. Go have some fun. I'll see you in game, guys. Talk to you later. Okay guys, so just in case you don't know what I'm doing by now, I am running a kind of a contest, a little giveaway here. Uh, what it is, is um, I'm going to give you something here from the auction house, or maybe out of, or from the gold in my, my bag there, or something like that. Uh, what I would like you to do is uh, leave a comment, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, um, what your level is, how long you've been playing Owl Odds, all that kind of stuff. Now, um... I am on Nezab Empire, so I can only give away um, stuff on that server. Um, so here's what, you know, an example of kind of the stuff I might be giving away. You know, uh, let's take a look here. Wait for it to load. Okay. See, you know, maybe I'll give away some crystal chips. Uh, you know, upgrade your runes. Uh, some uh, stamina pods. Maybe some elixirs. Those are always good to have. Uh, you can start using those level 4. Um... You know, if if I'm feeling really really good, maybe I'll, I'll give away a mage page. There's lots of stuff, uh, vanity outfits I can give away, costumes, hats, uh, gem shards. You know what? Uh, same as uh, same as G pots, guys. Uh, I think I can buy them from the auction house. Uh, give them away. It's pretty much like I'm giving away money. Uh, some tomes, some tokens, um, tomes of honor and stuff. Uh, tomes of just about everything I can get my hands on. Uh, tokens of the Explorer here. You can, uh, you can, uh, I'm sorry, I'm rendering a video and it kind of started playing there in the background. Uh, but yeah, maybe some tomes of knowledge and all that kind of great stuff. So, uh, like I said, you know, you have to be on the Nezab, em Nezab Empire uh, to be able to uh, get this kind of stuff. Uh, please leave a, a comment. Tell me about yourself. Um, what level you are, what class your character is, and uh, how are you liking owls and that kind of stuff. Um, please like the video if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment. If you have some feedback to give, go ahead and give it. Um, if you like the uh, video, please subscribe. And you can subscribe to uh, my personal channel as well. I'll be putting up some content on there as well. Well, take your easy, guys. Go play some owls. Have some fun. I'll talk to you later. Tongue foot out. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv.
This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv.